They make a difference in the world where they live. On that note, I'd like you to meet a woman who has seen a lot of challenge in her 42 years of life in South Columbus, yet she's found a way to give back, one double stitch at a time. I know what rough is, and this is one way to help somebody else not feel so rough, I guess. She was a mother twice before she was out of her teens. I, they have two different fathers. Yeah. I've, I've lived that life. I've had, you know, I didn't raise my children. That's mostly why they call me Aunt Mel. A part of that life lived homeless. Though she got her GED and can type at 120 words a minute, she lost her job in 2009, moving to this one-room South Parsons Avenue apartment. Most of the furnishings donated. But she did buy a home computer, and with it she used Google and YouTube to teach herself how to crochet. She also came across an article about a Michigan man named Ernie who buys warm winter hats and hangs them on poles in areas where those in need walk the streets. A light came on. Ten days ago, she crocheted and hung her first hat right out in front of her apartment. She took a picture of it and posted it on her Facebook page. I hung my first hat and the first day I started the page we had over 500 likes. And as Melanie has stitched her way to 13 hats in just 10 days, her Facebook page titled In Ernie's Name has inspired others across the world to anonymous follow her lead. So there's hats being hung from all the way from England to California and we have people in New Jersey and Nebraska where the 300 hats were donated to a crisis center. Melanie attaches simple notes to each hat right down to washing instructions. She signs them simply Aunt Mel. And you like the anonymous part of the deal? I do. I, you know I don't want any. It's not me. It's not about me. She then takes her hats of all sizes and hits the streets to hang them. Hats made with yarn that's been donated by friends who've been touched by Melanie's mission. I don't have money to help, so I figure all this donated yarn's got to go somewhere. So I got to get it off my couch. Living humbly in a room, grateful for what she has. I have everything I need. It's not beautiful, but I have somewhere to live. I have a bed to sleep in. and. Two annoying cats. Hoping to make a difference on Parsons Avenue and across the world. She says just about being kind. And if you are interested in learning more about Melanie's project to warm heads in the cold months ahead, go to NBC4i.com. Go down to the red box and click on news links for info on her Facebook site. Quite an inspiring That's woman. A great story. It really is. You know, she's do really is making a difference in her neck. You're going to need those hats now. Yes. Especially beginning tomorrow week. and those things are i got if they were thick and warm i'm telling you they're, they're a blessing to whoever gets them i know Fantastic. that well we've got a very complex uh, weather pattern here for the next four or five days